T-minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 3, 2, 1. The Houston Texans select C.J. Stroud, Will Anderson, Jr. I'm in Thompson. Jabari for three and the win. What it do, H-Town? What it do? I appreciate y'all joining me on everything H-Town Sports Debate Show. I'm your dreadhead host, Hot Topic TV. And on today's rundown, the Houston Texans' youngest player on the roster had a birthday yesterday. And also, who has the better QB in this matchup? Is it the Texans or is it the Falcons? And last but not least, who has the head coaching advantage? H-Town, get to listen to ears ready, strap up your boots, and let's go. Welcome back, Ace Town. Welcome back. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you're chilling with your boy Hot Topic TV, and I appreciate that. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't already, and let's get into the show. C.J. Stroud is the youngest player on the Houston Texans roster, and he had a birthday yesterday. He just turned 22. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. And the guy is balling. I mean, he came into his birthday week with a win. And also, I think the players get paid on every Tuesday, and his birthday was on the Tuesday. On the Tuesday. So he got a fat check along with his birthday gifts or whatever he got for his birthday. Congratulations. Happy birthday, UCJ. Keep on balling like that, man. Balling. How excited the city is. You can wake up, put on your Texans gear, Walk into the workplace with all these Cowboy fans, Pittsburgh Steelers fans, and hold your head up with pride. I am so crunk, and I'm so happy to be able to say, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, hey, look, I'm excited, baby. We haven't seen this for a couple years. I'm not crazy. I'm just excited. But let's get to the show, man. Who do you think the Houston Texans, out of the Houston Texans and Atlanta Falcons, excuse me, which team has the QB advantage. I have a few stats. I know Houston Texans fans are a little biased, and I am as well, Because, but the eye test tells you as well. Okay, the, on the stats, man, this is Desmond Ritter, Atlanta Falcons quarterback Desmond Ritter. Uh, Desmond Ritter has a 62% completion percentage. Um, his passing yards is 744, three touchdowns, three interceptions, with a 77.9 passer rating in four games. That's Desmond Ritter. That's the Atlanta Falcons quarterback. And that those are his stats, like, up to date. Um, C.J. Stroud season stats up to date in four games. 62% uh, completion, uh, 1,212 yards, six touchdowns, zero interceptions, 100.6 passer rating. So, C.J. Stroud, just by the numbers, is better. But just by the eye test, to me, is better. I mean, like I said, we put a, a spanking on the Jacksonville Jaguars, and then Jacksonville goes and put a spanking on Atlanta. And I know it's the NFL, and I know things happen like that, and teams rebound. And I know we going to Atlanta. We's not, we're not at home. But if anybody say anything, we seem like we've been better away than we have at home, even though we finally got a home win since 2021, everybody. So be excited. We got us a home win, and we have back-to-back -back wins since 2021. <laughs> be excited again, everybody. Um, I, think, I think this matchup is going to be nice. A lot of NFL anal analysts believe that the Houston Texans is going to get this one, I believe, because they see in the same thing as we are. C.J. Stroud is the truth. This defense and D'Amico Ryans and Bobby Sloyd, they passed the eye test as well. Those guys are weapons as play callers, and I'm loving it. Nico Collins is showing out. All these receivers have stepped up way past what everyone evaluated and what everyone expected of them. These guys is showing up and showing out in Lovey Smith words, but not in Lovey Smith um, execution. 
asking. <laughs> I'm just telling you, man. I'm excited, bro. It's been years. You can't get mad at me, man. You probably feel the same way I do, H-Town. The battle with the head coaches is Arthur Smith versus D'Amico Ryans. But I believe Bobby Sloyd will play a huge role. The Atlanta Falcons OC, I believe, I believe his name is, um, let me check, uh, Dave Ragon. Sorry if I said it wrong, but it's Dave Ragon. I, I really don't know too much about him. I'm not going to lie. Um, I, I don't know the guy. But I know Bobby Sloyd has been showing up and showing out. And that guy has been putting game plans in to make your head spin. I mean, it's beautiful. It looks like easy offensive football. It does not look hard. It does not look overcomplicated like Bill O'Brien. It does not look sluggish like Pilp Hamilton. It does not look anything but like an NFL offense. And I'm so excited. And I know Houston Texans fans are because I talk to you every day. I see you around the city. I know we crunk. You guys leaving comments because you feel the same way I do. This is finally real football but the battle with the head coaches I believe D'Amico Ryans and Bobby Sloak has a slight advantage I like what Arthur Smith can do he was the OC at Tennessee because so he has some familiarity with the Houston Texans it's a new team I know it's a lot of new players a lot of new faces a lot of it's a new system but he was a division four with the Tennessee Titans but I give the arrow to the Houston Texans H-Town, the betting odds have the Atlanta Falcons beating the Houston Texans. And I don't blame them because, I mean, it's, it's, it's by a small margin, but it's because the Atlanta Falcons are at home. A lot of times if the teams are close in nature, they kind of give, I mean, the up to the home team, maybe because a few points because of home field advantage or whatever. But a lot of the NFL analysts and a lot of the people come in, commutate football and around the league see what we see they see that houston has a real quarterback they see that this defense is playing lights out for D'Amico ryan's over the last two games they see that this team is coming along and these team these guys are playing for each other and these guys are playing to win and there are going to be a tough out for anybody that they play so wake up we done woke the league up already, but wake up and smell the coffee. Because when you play these Texans, it's going to be physical. You're going to be sore after that. You're going to understand why D'Amico Ryan said it's sworn mentality defensively and offensively. So the betting guys better wake up. But I know they got to make their money. They got to sway people to bet on each side. I'm not really a betting type of guy. I don't like to lose my money. I will put it in the stock market, but I don't like to lose it to just betting on a game or whatever, so I'm not finna do that. But the betting odds have the Atlanta Falcons with the best odds to win the game, which I don't believe. I know a lot of people don't believe because they still picking the Texans to win. So, Ace Town, it's been real chopping it up with you. I got more videos. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. I try to bring you guys the flame and the heat. Man, all my returning people, man, come on, man. It's H-Town. Show H-Town love. Show H-Town love. We have to show each other love, man. The city is riled up. And we fired up, whatever, however you want to say it. I said riled up. But we fired up and everything else, H-Town. It's your Dreadhead host, Hot Topic TV, and I'm out. Peace.